the fourth process of the deliver service and support domain is called, manage continuity. The identifier of the process is DSS4. The process ensures that the operation of the critical business processes and IT services is uninterrupted, and a plan to ensure the availability of information should be established. The purpose of this process is to continue the business operations and ensure the information availability in case of a significant event. The process supports the achievement of three IT-related goals. The first goal is to manage the IT-related business risk. Its achievement is measured by the percent of critical business processes covered by risk assessments, and by the frequency of update of the risk profile. The second supported goal is to ensure that the delivery of IT services is aligned with the business requirements. Its achievement is measured by the number of business disruptions due to IT service incidents, and by the user satisfaction level with the quality of IT service delivery. The third goal is to ensure the availability of useful information for decision making. Its achievement is measured by the business satisfaction level with the quality of information, and by the number of business incidents caused by the lack of information. The process has five process goals, and the first goal is to ensure that the business critical information is available, and its achievement is measured by the percent of IT services meeting uptime requirements. The second goal is to ensure that the critical services are resilient, and its achievement is measured by the number of critical systems not covered by the plan. The third goal is to ensure that service continuity tests verify the effectiveness of the plan, and its achievement is measured by the frequency tests. The fourth process goal is to ensure that the continuity plan is up to date and reflect the business requirements. Its achievement is measured by the percent of issues that have been addressed in the plan. The fifth goal is to ensure that internal and external parties have been trained in the continuity plan, and its achievement is measured by the percent of stakeholders that have received the training. The process has eight practices, and the first practice is to define the business continuity policy and objectives. The entities responsible for this practice include, the business process owners, the chief information officer, and the business continuity manager. The entity that is held accountable is the chief operating officer. The practice receives one input which is the service level agreements from the AP09 process. It generates three outputs which are, the policy and objectives for business continuity to be used by the AP01 process, the disruptive incident scenarios, and the assessments of continuity capabilities, both to be used internally. The activities involved in this practice include, identifying the critical internal and outsourced business processes and activities. The key stakeholders responsible for defining and accepting the continuity policy and scope should be identified. The policy objectives should be defined, and the need for continuity planning should be embedded in the enterprise culture. Finally, the essential supporting business processes and IT services should be identified.